go to penalties. Yeah, Nicky Featherston, the current longest serving player at Pools. As part of the side relegated, desperate to get the club back into the Football League. And he goes first. Up against Kovalev. Featherston for Hartlepool. Saved! Dream start for Torquay in the shootout. Well, he's playing the mind games, isn't he? Before he takes it. It's a comfortable height, isn't it? Geeing up the crowd as well. Waters to put the goals, a goal up. Oh, he slipped! The stuff of nightmares for Waters. And it remains goalless in the shootout. Well, it's a John Terry moment, isn't it? Well, in being for the save, the next penalty is absolutely crucial, and Harley Foreman given a lifeline. This is just the game that keeps on giving. Armstrong now, Hartlepool's goal scorer in the first half. Saves! All three penalties haven't been scored, and Kovalan is having the day of his life out there. Well, he's certainly enjoying himself now, isn't he? Just got to be careful, stay on your line. To not give any improvisation there, back to Hartlepool. Danny right now, placing it with precision. A brace in the semi-final against Knox. Danny Wright. Ah! Oh, off the bar! I've never seen anything like this! That look says it all. Four penalties, none scored. Wow. He puts his laces through, but just leaning back and strikes it against the bar. Shelton to go next. Being psyched out, perhaps, by Kovalan. This time it does hit the back of the net. And Hartlepool lead in the shootout. Oh, well done there, Mark Shelton. Mind games again from Lucas Kovalan. Thinking it was going to go down the middle. Opens his body out nicely. And finally, we see a penalty hit the back of the net. It's the Torquay captain, Asa Hall, their top scorer this season. Can he convert it? He can. All square. Emphatic that strike. Well, he is the penalty taker for the club. Now holding back straight down the middle. Big penalty. They've had three penalties each. It's 1 1 in the shootout. Sterry who, in his own words, has had the most enjoyable year of his career at Hartlepool. He only joined them in December. To put Pauls back in front. Confident penalty. Really well taken. Kovalan beaten this time. Yeah, quality penalty. Never too sure off a short run-up, but when you strike it like that, you can run up to it how you want. Just composes himself for that split second, goes into the side net in there. No one saves that one. Lewis steps forward for the goals. The pressure unrelenting. Can he convert? He does. That's a really good penalty. Sent the goalkeeper. The wrong way. That was a pressure penalty there for Joe Lewis because he knew he had to score. 
Oh, it's a miss. We'll put the momentum right back to Hartlepool with a winning penalty. Confident there. So next up, it's the man who was brought on specifically to take a penalty. Luke Molyneux. Great strike. And Hartlepool lead 3-2. This Torquay's fifth spot kick, so much pressure on it. Has to score. Armani Little forward to take it. Some of the Torquay fans can't look. Oh, you wouldn't know the pressure that was on that. I'll tell you what. The most pressured penalty is the best one that's been taken so far. He's had an outstanding afternoon's work. Capped off with a brilliant penalty. So into sudden deaths we go. Danny Elliott, who came on as a substitute. Up against Kovalan. Elliott for Hartlepool. Scores. Again, the goalkeeper sent the wrong way. And the pressure's heat back on Torquay again now. It's a confident penalty. Just no kidding. Kovalan just starting to step off his line a little bit now. So he's got to be careful. And there's the Torquay player who made it into the National League Team of the Year. Lemon Hay Evans. Some of them are looking through their fingers. Levin Hay Evans must score. And he does. Precise. All square again. Well, another confident penalty. In fairness to Talker United, when they have to take it well, they've done it. And now you get into the ones, Adam, where they maybe haven't put their hands up. And they're the ones that have to take responsibility. Know what it means. Donaldson, the club captain, the man who will lift the trophy if Hartlepool win it. Donaldson for Pools. Brilliantly taken. And the more pressure that's been put on these players, the quality is just shown again. It's a quality penalty there from Ryan Donaldson that now puts the pressure back onto Torquay again. Well, it's Matt Buse who steps up with the score at 5-4 in the shootout in sudden death. Buse has to score or Hartlepool are going up. Buse! Dreams of all Paulie's country. <laughs> Misery for Torquay and Buse. From utter dejection in added time at the end of normal time to now elation for Dave Challoner. A club back where they feel they belong. So many years of disappointment. So much frustration, now replaced by sheer elation. Hartlepool are a football league club again.